wait, you know, the straw is so short. Are you ready for the sugar? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Convenience Store Tour. Today, we are in Seoul, Korea at a 7-Eleven, and we're about to feast on a three-course meal. Ta-da! In today's super fancy Michelin star convenience store meal, we are starting off with amazing appetizers. Boom. First off, we have some ramen chips. You like chips? You like ramen? Well, best of both worlds right here. We're gonna open it up. Approximately 10 hours later. Go. Dun, dun, dun. It looks like a barbecue chip. We're gonna see what it tastes like. <laughs> I really thought it would be like a spicy kimchi flavor type of ramen, but it just tastes like. Mm. Tastes like barbecue lays. Yeah. It's still good though. I would eat this stuff up. Next up. Illuminati rice balls. I usually never get rice balls in convenience stores because they're like so filling, but this one is bibimbap flavor, which is so interesting. I'm like, is there packed with veggies? I don't know, let's find out. Here we are, the rice ball. Check this out. It's not white rice, it's like kimchi fried rice. Oh, I'm excited to buy into it. I wonder if there's filling inside. Ready? Oh. Mm. Oh, the outer layer, it's a spicy, sticky rice. I think inside is either pork or beef. Let me take another bite. It's basically falling apart now. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm surprised at how moist the rice is. It is so sticky. Usually these rice are a little bit tough, but this one, it's like sticky rice, like a sticky rice roll. Yum, yum. The third item on the appetizer menu is this. It is a bulgogi cheese pizza. Now, this is basically a Korean hot pocket. It's like a Friday night when you're watching Cup of TJ. Oh, when you're watching <laughs> Right in front of me. <laughs> this is not what I expected it to look like. Okay, I was expecting like a hot pocket kind of look, but this looks like a baguette. Let's um let's bite into it and see what's up. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's kind of floppy. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's bite into it. Oh. It's got corn pieces in there. This one is not spicy, thank goodness. It's got like a savory, sweet meat taste. Not necessarily a bulgogi taste, but there's some flavor, that's for sure. Mmm. Mmm. Honestly, this isn't bad. I think it's just like the bread outside is so soft and soggy. So maybe if it was not that soft. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> I love Hot Pockets because they're actually kind of crispy and hard. But this one is definitely really, really soft. So if you like soft bread, you'll like this one. I'm going to have to say this is okay. A quick cleanup. <laughs> Be sure to tip the waiter for the main course. I have to be honest, I got this particular item because it was so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this character. It's like a like a pink poop or a pink peach. Oh sorry, it's a peach. <laughs> it's a peach. Um, um, and it's like having like a constipation face, kind of. Or it's like yum. <laughs> yum. <laughs> Is that the face? I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, we have to actually heat these up. This is supposed to be a smooth segment where I just rip it off and put it in the microwave. Man. Okay, there we go. Ha. Okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> it comes with a puzzle piece. Do you see that? So I guess it's a collectible item. Th 
this is an effective method. <laughs> Mish. <laughs> okay, question for you guys. If your significant other was like, I'm gonna take you out on a date, and they take you to a 7-Eleven, would you, A, break up with him? Time for the main course. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty awesome, actually. I'm loving all the colors. So right over here, we have a more traditional lunchbox. I think this is tofu with some gochujang sauce, and it just has a little bit, a bunch of side dishes. It's like when you go into a Korean restaurant and you get a set meal, they give you little side dishes. And this right here is purple rice. So this is a somewhat healthy meal. <laughs> Not really, because we, we're eating all this stuff, but let's give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to get a tofu, and let's try this. This is good. Oh, you guys, that was pretty darn good. Ooh. Mm. All the rice stuff we tried so far is a little bit sticky, but I actually like it. It tastes good. And this tofu, it tastes really good from microwavable tofu. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, I'm not sure what this thing is. I don't know if it's meat. Let's give it a try. Oh, chicken nugget. <laughs> chicken nugget in a sweet glaze sauce. I'm gonna get some chicken nugget. I'm gonna get some chicken. And get some kimchi. I'm gonna get some rice. Ooh, I'm really eating luxuriously here. Like, look at this bite. Didn't they serve this at like a Michelin restaurant? Yeah, I think I've seen it before. Ready? Let's take a bite. Mmm. Okay, that wasn't even that big of a bite. I could fit much bigger stuff in my mouth, so. So I think this right here is like minced pork with some, again, chili paste. Oh, that's not bad. Oh my god. You guys, this is pretty darn good. All the items here have a lot of flavor. Um, texture doesn't feel like frozen food or food that's been left in a container and microwave. It tastes pretty darn good. I'm very surprised. And of course, the rice is very fluffy. I'm a big fan. Now onto this item. This is a much trendier lunchbox. I personally got it because it was really cute. <laughs> I would get anything that resembles myself. So this right here is gimbap, but this is a ham version. Um, I've never seen ham and gimbap before, so let's see how it tastes like. Hmm. Hmm. You guys, surprisingly really good. There's not much of like a salty ham taste to it. It's very light. And I was kind of afraid this would have like a weird plasticky taste or it's too soggy, but it's great. Yeah. Let's try the hamburger steak, which is just a patty on some roasted veggies and a slap of cheese on top. Ready? Not bad either. <laughs> Real fast, you guys. So we went to one of the most popular shopping area to like try very trendy street food. And I have to say that this bento box tastes better than those street food items. Isn't that crazy? And this is for the price of one street food item, um, you could get a whole bento box at a convenience store. There's a lot of K-pop music playing in the background. Makes me wanna dance but not get copyright claims, so I'm gonna keep talking so that it doesn't catch the music. Okay, moving on. So right in front of me is the spaghetti. I hope it tastes good. Mmm. <laughs> this tastes like spaghetti I make. Just okay. <laughs> I think it's so weird that they have like a spaghetti and a hamburger steak and some gimbap together in a plate, but I guess like this is Kind of reflective of a lot of like cafe foods, like more modern, trendy cafe foods. Either way, they're both pretty good. Yeah, I'm not disappointed actually. Let's try the ramen. Ramen is always important. Pro tip, if you have a fork and you want to put the lid down, you just put the lid down and you stab it like this. Bada bing, bada boom. Asian life hacks. 
Okay, now let's mix this up because it's been soaking in there for a couple of minutes. Okay, guys, ready? Let's check this out. It tastes like shin ramen, ladies and gentlemen. Who knew? Spicy, savory shin ramen. And, but you know what? This noodle is really nice and chewy. I'm a big fan of these noodles. Mm. Can't go wrong with spicy ramen. Be sure to buy your Sen Nudes tea from the Cup of Tea Gym merch store. You thought I'd forget to plug, but there you go. <laughs> it's time for my favorite meal of the day. D cert. I love anything that starts with D. Oh my gosh, this is the funniest thing. So I was like looking for dessert and I was in the ice cream section and I was hovering over it for the longest time. And in the corner, I found this little thing and it had like, the cover is gone now, but it had on the cover, it had like red bean and what looked like mochi and ice. And I thought to myself, is that shaved ice? So I had to get it. And then when I got it, the worker was like pointing some stuff at me. And I was like, huh? You know? And so he actually mixed this for me. He went and got a milk. Is this condensed milk? Milk or condensed milk? He poured it into this ice for me and he like mixed it up as well. That's so nice. So you can make your own shaved ice. Shaved ice bingsu? Is this bingsu? What does it say in the front? I'm not sure, but let's give it a try. Oh, 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 oh. It was really, really, it's really, really frozen. So you gotta chomp it up. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, it's very sweet. It doesn't taste like red bean. It tastes like mung bean in there. Look at this little mochi piece. Oh, it's so chewy. And being frozen? What? Yo, this is delicious. <laughs> it's like a red bean shaved snow. I can't believe you can get red bean mochi shaved ice or shaved snow at a convenience store. Really, really cool. And this is a great amount too. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm. The mochi pieces are so good with it. And now for our final item. Here we go. I have seen so many of these everywhere. And apparently this is like, uh, for people growing up, it's like a childhood drink. I think this one is a banana flavor. Let's give it a try. Oh, you're supposed to drink it with the straw, but I'm just gonna drink it from here. Thousands of tears later. Oh yeah, this is banana milk. And it is so sweet. It tastes like a watery banana candy. Mm. This kind of packaging reminds me of Yakut, which I grew up drinking and I love that stuff. But yeah, so there you guys go. That was the dessert. What a meal. And all of this came together to cost around 20 to 21 US dollars for all of that food. <laughs> Okay guys, so there you go. That was another convenience store episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to comment below which of the items that we tried today would you love to try. Of course, if you're in Korea, um, I don't recommend eating an entire convenience store meal. There's so many yummy street food. But if you want to come in here for a quick snack, then for sure. Before I leave, I just want to remind you guys to click the join button and become a Cup of TJ member. You get exclusive updates and content, a cute little badge next to your screen name, and stickers for live chats. That's it for today's episode. I'll see you guys next time. Hit you with that do do do. <laughs>